Hello, my name is Frederick and I travel to school in South Croydon. Today I'm going to show you a bit of my journey. This is how it is. Frederick's video diary shows how hundreds of children use the direct train from Balham to get to school in Croydon. People scrambling for the train. From Monday, they'll have to change twice. Just go outside of Balham. Train journey took 20 minutes. Next week will take 40 minutes. Parents here are worried and want their direct service back. It's going to be taking between 30 and 40 minutes now with the two changes. More likelihood of delays, of them getting lost, stuff going wrong. It's not great. Instead of just going from one stop all of the way, they will now have to change at least at Clapham Junction and at East Croydon. And that means that you've got many more children on these platforms at peak times. Um, I think it's a health and safety issue as much as anything else. The times of trains are totally ingrained in people's lives. And Govia Thameslink run 3,200 trains a day. That's one every 30 seconds. And all of those times are now going to be changed. It'll affect nearly half a million passengers. This is the new control centre, part of the £7 billion Thameslink programme. New infrastructure and signalling means more trains can run closer together through central London. It'll mean 400 extra trains a day. The times, though, of every train will change on Great Northern, Thameslink, Southern and the Gatwick Express. If it's five minutes or 20 minutes, that makes a lot, you know, in people's lives, their working lives and their home lives. The last thing we want to do is complicate either but to progress the railway into a modern railway and to make it fit for the future. You know, our passenger numbers are continuing to go up and go up and go up. If we stood still, we would never be able to move those, you know, those customers around. The unions say the changes could be bedlam. Commuters are being advised to check the new times of trains. It all starts on Sunday.